Hi, my name is David Revoir and welcome to this video about line art tips or inking tips with Krita 2.9. When you start inking, you'll probably need to switch often between an eraser preset and an ink preset. The fastest way to switch is probably with the numpad divide key on your keyboard. This key toggles switch between your previously selected presets and your actual one. When you open your artwork, select an eraser preset, then select directly your inking preset. Now you can draw, then when you need an eraser, press numpad divide key on your keyboard to switch to the eraser. Then press again the numpad divide key to draw again. You can toggle switch to the infinity like this. Note, this technique works also with any preset. If you want a better visibility of your final line art while inking over your sketch, you will probably want to turn your sketch to a brighter value. Turning it to a brighter blue tones helps to better see what you are doing with your line art. There is many ways to turn a layer into blue, but the less destructive and the less resource intensive I found is to uncheck the blue channel in the layer properties. Then reduce the opacity. With this method, you also can keep drawing on your sketch layer while inking. Your black or dark color will be displayed automatically as bright blue. Note, this technique works also on groups. I use a lot the stabilizer feature of Krita to smooth my lines. But I often need to turn it off and on while working and the tool option docker take too much room on the screen to be always displayed. If you right click on your top toolbar, you will be able to configure it. Filter for the available action with the keyword smoothing then add the items Basic and Stabilizer to the right panel. The right panel is a vertical representation of your toolbar. Press Apply to preview the change. You can rename the two features into On and Off to have shorter label on your top toolbar. Now you can access to control your stabilization mode with two simple buttons. Correcting a proportion or moving a part of your drawing at the inking part is often difficult. You can transform your inking layer, but it's hard to repeat the same action, especially with complex transformation, for the layers under. If you group all your layers and apply the transformation directly on the group, you'll be able to deform all the layers with a single action. If you want to protect a specific layer from the recursive transformation, just lock it before with the little lock pad icon.
you can create amazing speed line effect with Krita. Create a new layer. Select the Ruler Assistant Editor. Display your Tool Option Docker to select Parallel Ruler. Click on the canvas to create a new widget. Then, go back to the Brush Tool and in the Tool Option activate the Assistant checkbox. Now, all your lines should be parallel to the ruler. You can do various line width or thickness with your pen pressure, according the fact you have the right preset for doing it. When your work is over, you can go back to the Ruler Assistant Editor and delete your ruler. You can now transform your line to bring an additional fluid movement or life to them. Note, you can also paint other type of speed line using the other ruler. Feel free to explore. That's all for today. I hope you learned something with this video. Any help is welcome to improve and grow my channel, so feel free to subscribe or share it or thumbs up this video. If you want to support this type of video tutorial on a regular basis, I invite you to be my patron on Patreon. For anything else, comment below, I'll be around. See you on the next video tutorial and waiting for this, goodbye and have fun doing inking with Krita.